guys, welcome to Survival First. Today, I want to show you how to make my little wood burning stove out of a wire clothes hanger and a small baking sheet. Tools you're going to need, a pair of metal shears, a Dremel with a cutting tool and a cutting wheel, a pair of needle nose pliers, a permanent marker, safety glasses, and gloves. My suggestion is you go ahead and make a template set based off the measurements I'm about to show you guys. So our first step here is going to be trace out the templates. Okay, now that your pieces are cut out, we're going to go outside and use the Dremel and remove these sections here. And we're also going to go ahead and put the air holes in the bottom plate here. Now we're going to cut off the hinge pins. So again, use your template against the hanger. Okay, so this next step is going to be putting the pin inside the hinges. So as you can see, this hinge actually faces up. You're going to need two that face up and two that face down. That's going to actually let you fold them over so it's actually compact.
Okay, now that all our beasts are done, let's go ahead and assemble this. And at first, your pieces don't fit. Don't worry, just trim a little bit off. This isn't a tight tolerance item. Get away with shaving a little bit off here and there. There you have it. There's the main body. And it'll rock. It's not the most stable of pieces yet. So remember this piece? Let's go ahead and shape this to your upper supports. So you want to leave about a quarter of an inch gap on each side. And now to figure out how deep we actually need to cut this. I'm going to lay this top piece against the very top until it's flush. Go across to where your bottom of the cut is. Just draw a line. So now we know everything on this end needs to be cut in. Then we're going to duplicate this process, make a second one. So one thing I noticed, I forgot to do the cutaways here at the bottom. So while I go out and take the dremel, cut these pieces, I'll go ahead and make the cutaways in this. And with that, you can either use the cutoff wheel and just make a kind of a triangle shaped cut, or you can take the removal wheel and actually make a crescent cut. Okay, now you can see these pieces have been clearance and cut away. I'll snap right in place. Yours will probably turn out a lot cleaner than mine did. You know, it's kind of difficult with the tripod sitting in front of you or beside you or reaching out at odd angles trying to cut this metal. So yours should come out a lot cleaner than mine did. Here is the packed away profile. And these pieces do lay loose, so you need a little stuff sack or little compartment in your pack to put in. So I'll do one more assembly and show you guys how it all goes back together. That's it. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And the templates that I provided you guys, they're not 100% accurate, so you may have to do some trimming. You know, I had to cut a few pieces out here and there. So don't be afraid to get a little happy with the shears. And good luck with building your own. If you guys build anything different or you come up with any better ideas, send me pictures, send me some designs. I'd like to see how you guys have you know, varied off my design here. And until next time, by failing to prepare, preparing to fail. Thanks, guys.